India is finally ready to challenge Nvidia and AMD. The power to build the future has been controlled by companies like Nvidia and AMD till now because the world runs on their chips. Today, Nvidia dominates nearly 80% of the global AI chip market, followed by AMD and then Intel. But that's about to change. India is making its move. Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav has announced that India will have its own GPUs within the next three to four years itself, not just as an alternative, but as a competitor on the world. This is not just about uh, reducing reliance on foreign chip makers. This is about securing India's technological future. On 6th of March 2025, in a historic declaration, Minister Ashwini Vaishnav confirmed what many have long hoped for. India is now formally working on building its own GPUs. This means that within just the next three to four years, India will have its own high-performance AI chips, reducing its dependency on NVIDIA, AMD and other global giants. GPUs are uh, they're quite literally the backbone of artificial intelligence, from large language models to scientific simulations, uh, from space exploration to autonomous vehicles. Everything runs on advanced compute power. This announcement of India's own GPUs comes as a part of the larger India AI mission, a 10,372 crore INR initiative that is aimed at strengthening AI infrastructure and fostering innovation in the country. This newly launched India AI compute portal will provide 18,000 plus GPUs through public-private partnerships with subsidized rates as low as 67 rupees. 67 rupees per GPU hour making India one of the most cost-effective AI compute hubs in the world. The journey to build India's own GPUs will involve collaboration between government, top research institutes and private industry leaders. With extensive consultations already underway, the groundwork is being laid for India's semiconductor breakthrough. Let's break it down for you. Phase 1, 2024 to 2025, feasibility studies, research partnerships and early stage chip designs are being focused at. Phase 2 will be from 2025 till 2026, where prototype development will be done. Testing and validations will be checked out in the AI applications. Phase 3 will be from 2026 till 2027. Mass production, deployment and global competition will be focused at. By 2027, India is expected to have its first domestically produced GPUs. Minister Vaishnav also confirmed that India's first domestically produced semiconductor chip will be ready before this year ends. A landmark achievement under the India Semiconductor Mission, ISM. With Micron setting up a semiconductor assembly plant in Gujarat and Tata Electronics partnering with Taiwan's PSMC to build India's first fabrication unit, the groundwork is already properly in motion. This facility will produce up to 50,000 wafers per month. Beyond Tata, even major other players like L&T, the Adani Group, are also entering the semiconductor space. This means that India isn't just developing indigenous GPUs, it is building an entire chip. This is bigger than just AI. This is about, as I said, Atmanirbhar Bharat, a vision where India controls its own technological future. For decades, the world has looked to just a few companies for the future of computing. But now, that's changing. India is ready to rewrite the rules, rewrite history. India's own GPUs are now ready to come. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this major, major development. How excited does this make you? How proud does that make you? And of course, for more such real-time updates from the world of tech and AI, don't forget to subscribe AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.